most amazing artists. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today is week two of our Very Busy Spider project. So we read the book, The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. And last week we drew a spider web using vertical straight lines, horizontal straight lines, diagonal straight lines, and curved or bumpy lines, okay? And you had a choice, you could have done this in pencil or you could have done it with a white crayon or a white oil pastel. If you did it with a pencil, then you are just going to color your spider web however you want to. You'll see how I'm gonna paint my spider web in just a second, but you can do it however you want to. And you can use whatever materials you wanna use, like crayons or markers, colored pencils. If you have paint, you need to get permission before you paint it, but you can definitely paint this as well. The only thing is if you did it with a pencil, then if you paint it, you might wanna go over these pencil lines with maybe um, a black Sharpie, or you could go over your pencil lines with a black marker, or maybe a pen. We just don't want these pencil lines to disappear. So if you drew your spider web with a pencil, you have a lot of options for how to color it, okay? So that's for my pencil spider webs out there. Now, if you used a white crayon or a white oil pastel, then that means you have paint and you're going to paint this today. Now, I have what's called liquid watercolors and I just have it in this little container. I have all the colors of the rainbow plus pink and uh, these are called liquid watercolors because they're already liquidy. You might have something that looks like this. This is called a watercolor palette and it has all of your colors that you need except for they're not liquid, they are dry, okay? So if you're using this, then you're gonna have to add water to your paints using your paintbrush to wake up your paints. So you can use any paint that you have at home, but Miss M is going to use liquid watercolors. You do not have to use these if you don't have them. Since I am painting, I do have a messy mat under my work to catch all the mess. I have a little cup of water and I have a fluffy paintbrush. So I am ready to go ahead and start painting. Now, like I said just a little bit ago for my pencil spider webs, you can color this however you want to. You can paint this however you want to. You don't have to use all the colors of the rainbow if you don't want to. Maybe you just want your spider web to be blue, green, and purple, the three cool colors. Or maybe you just want your spider web to be warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. The only thing is, is we want to mix up our colors a little bit. We don't want to color this whole thing just yellow or just orange. We want to use different colors in there, okay? You could do a pattern. I think I'm going to do a pattern with my colors today. I think that's a good idea. But how you color this is completely up to you. Just use a good mix of colors. Don't just use one color. Okay, so now that we know everything that we're going to need, we're ready to start painting. So let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose your colors. And like I said, you can use any colors that you want to. I think I wanna keep mine pretty spooky since this is kind of a spooky Halloween project. And I think I wanna do purple for sure. Definitely gonna use purple and pink and probably green and blue. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do blue, green, and violet. Oh, and pink. So I don't even need red, orange, and yellow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close those up to remind myself that the colors I wanna use, you probably have different colors, but I'm gonna use blue, green, violet, and pink. So now I've chosen my colors and I'm ready to start painting. I'm just gonna get my paintbrush a little bit wet. Remember, if you're using these, then you have to wake up your paints with water. So I'm gonna grab, I think I'm gonna start with pink. Yeah, I'm gonna start with pink and I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush in the pink. Since this is liquid watercolors, I don't have to wake these paints up. These paints are already awake. So I'm gonna start on this section of my spider web. And if you used a white crayon or a white oil pastel, you'll see that crayon or oil pastel is gonna start pushing your paint away. That means it's resisting that paint. So I'm gonna paint this entire section of my spider web using pink. You see all those um, curved lines that I drew last time? That looks so cool. So I wanna keep this triangle just pink. Now I'm gonna switch to my next color and I need to clean my paintbrush whenever I get a new color. So I'm gonna draw an X in the bottom of my uh, water cup. And if it's dripping, drip, drip, wipe it on the lip 
of your cup. That's the outer edge of your cup. And I'm gonna grab my next color. And I think I want purple to be my next color, so I'm gonna grab some purple, and I'm gonna paint the next section of my spider web. Ooh, you can see those lines showing up. You see them? That's so cool how whenever you use crayon or oil pastel, it just pushes that paint away. And now we can see those lines that we drew last time. So cool. I'm going back just to make sure that I don't have any white spaces left. The only white space that you should see is where you drew with your oil pastel. Okay, so now I'm ready for a new color. So what do I need to do? I need to clean my paintbrush. So I'm gonna draw an X in the bottom of my water cup and I'm gonna go to my next color. So I'm gonna grab my green and I'm gonna do this next section on my spider web and just paint it all on top of those lines that we drew last time. Oops, I just dripped some over here on the other side. That is totally fine, friends. We are humans, we are going to make mistakes. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna have a good attitude about it and I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna try to move it around because then I'm gonna paint more over on this side and I don't think I want this section to be green. So I'm just gonna leave it alone and I'll deal with it when I get to this section. Okay, so look, I think the green is covering up some of these lines. That means I didn't press down hard enough whenever I drew my spider web last time. So just remember, if you didn't press down hard enough with your crayon or your white oil pastel, some of those lines might not show up. So if you want, you can take your crayon or oil pastel and go over those lines one more time to make sure that they show up nice and bold whenever you paint on top. All right, my next color, I want to use blue, but you might be using a different color. And I'm going to paint the entire section. So I'm going to do that same pattern on this side of my spider web. And instead of my pink being at the top, I'm going to keep going in order. So my pink will be down here, then purple, green, blue. So I'm going to speed that part up and I will be right back to show you what my spider web looks like. just finished painting my beautiful spider web and this is actually going to be the background of our very busy spider so make sure you put this in a very safe place because we will be using it again for this project I hope you guys had fun either painting your spider web or coloring it if you colored it instead. I can't wait to see how your spider webs turn out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.